obviously it has to be a thrill adapting a Stephen King story, but what about the original novella of Mr. Harrigan's phone really stood out um, to you and made you want to expand upon it? It was, first and foremost, I, I really loved it. Um, it was 80-something pages, so I thought this was going to be a challenge to, to, to beef up a little bit into, to make it into a movie, which is a different, completely different medium. But I, I don't know, I, I love so many things about it, and I, at the start when I read it, I didn't, hadn't f- figured anything out. And I told him, I confessed that to him. I said, that I've, there's lots of things I want to explore here. I don't have the answers yet, but hopefully I will with your help. Um, but I loved the paranormal coming of age that remind me in, in some ways of something like The Body that became Stand By Me. Um, and, 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 and that's part of you know King's work. He has a whole kind of coming of age thing uh, happening. There are a lot of my favorites. But um, so yeah, I don't know. It just I thought this would be a challenge, and I'm terrified, you know, because it's Stephen King will eventually read it. <laughs> you know, the film uh, explores so many great themes, and I thought just the tackling of smartphones and the flow of information online was so interesting. So I was curious if this film. And working on you know this art so closely, if it made you kind of re-examine your own habits of going online, of using your smartphone. Yeah, I think it's just a reminder. We all you know hear that all the time, and obviously you know we have tons of stories or things we see in everyday life with everybody with their head down on their phone, and you think that's not me until all of a sudden you realize, oh, today that was me. Um, I like the I, I, the idea that it wasn't just all the young people in the movie at high school all staring at their phones, but that you could take an 80-something-year-old billionaire who had never held uh, a smartphone in his life, put a phone in his hand, and how quickly he could become addicted. So it's not just something that teenagers do. It's, you know, it's, it's a powerful, powerful tool. It can be a tool or it can be a weapon, and it can be both. Jaden Martell is such a talented young actor. What convinced you that he was the right person to play Craig? I'm, I've been a big Jaden fan ever since St. Vincent, I mean, which is a long while back. But I needed, also knew I needed an actor that could play between 15 and 19. And there was something about Jaden that I thought was, one, he was, I thought he was the best actor for the job. But two, I thought he could accomplish that without us having to do a lot with his hair or anything else. But it's mostly because he's such a fine actor. And from a physicality standpoint, the way he walks, Daniel Orlandi and the clothes he wears kind of age him up. But he was really helpful to me with dialogue, sometimes saying, I I know what you're trying to say here, but this sounds like a 15-year-old and I'm 18 now. Or sometimes the reverse. You know, I'm supposed to be 15 here and this sounds like I'm 18. So, you know, we were constantly adjusting that to fit his journey as Craig. And I, I love the character of Mr. Harrigan, and he's clearly wise. You know, as mentioned in the film, he kind of predicts a lot, but he's also this kind of miserable, lonely old man. So how do you just view this character? Because, uh, you know, it shows, you know, there's good sides and obviously the bad. Well, I think that both uh, these two characters have something in common, which is grief. They have loss, and they carry that around, and it leads to a certain bit of isolation for both of them. I mean, Craig in, a, in kind of a lonely house with his father who's trying hard and Mr. Harrigan in an empty house where he's, you know, not trying that hard. Um, but I, I think that that's the, the, the trait they share and, and, and the fact that, you know, they become best friends. Um, and I think he's, I think Craig is probably Mr. Harrigan's only friend. And I think it helps you lean into Mr. Harrigan who can be tough and brutal and plays for keeps as we find out. Um, and to see underneath, and you go, he, he's, he's, a, he's a hurt little boy. 